Look at that thing. I mean, look at her. I am telling you, friends. Just the smell of the tooth. Started the fact that was hanging there, like I was gonna bring this down more, but I'm not going to. I brought it down a lot, like that much. Look, look at that, bud. See, so I left this toe here as far out as possible because it was back, right? You know what I mean? Alright friends, well, <laughs> that, that axe just lost some weight, okay? It was four and a half pounds. It's still four and a half pounds. I took off a few grams, okay? And I'm going to tell you something. Um, it, it's, it's a high test, eh friends? It's a this thing, we got a problem here. It's like a knockoff dandy on this one. And it is, it is probably, it's going to be one of the best splitters that, that I have, I think. And, and I'm going to tell you what splits wood the best. I, uh, I've been at this for a little while and I've been really focusing on, on what I'm doing and the results of that. Check this out, friends. You saw that ax, right? A minute ago. See what, see what we got? A convex strong strong grind this is a big split nax but that is that is that's better it's a high test friends yeah
See the speed bump? It's still there. I could change it. We, we, but I, I don't think I want to. Oh, look at this. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad I did that, actually. Wow. What a big axe. What a big split and axe. That's much better, friends. Just, it just, I'm excited. You know what I might do? I'm torn. I am, I'm torn. But I think I'm going to sharpen this a bit. That's a lot of meat there. This could be becoming an amazing, amazing tool if I did that. But again, I may not. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm not sure yet. So friends, uh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever we are in the world. Thanks for coming here. Listen, friends, I, you know my style of splitting. I use axes to pick up wood and move wood. Well, I've decided I'm going to make this that edge. It means spending a lot more time, but I'm going to do it. And I'm going to make this a pick up wood, full on splitter and tool that you don't have to bend down to pick up wood. Okay, friends, I, I couldn't, I couldn't not do it. I, I had to do it. I had to go out and, and change it. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, there, there she be. Hi, Tess. The toe was worn way back, but I'm not taking them way back. I don't like doing that. You, you lose all the axe, but I want to show you what I changed drastically, which is going to make an incredible difference on this axe. Is that right there? Look back. Look back at the speed bump, friends, that I had before. Check out the difference on the, on the profile. Seriously, it's a major difference. Look at how sharp that is now. Okay. I don't like touching the uh, the handles with just freshly, like, you know, all that rust and steel on there. I mean, you can sand it off. I just, it's just time wasted. Okay. Now, uh, I might as well, I might as well burn this handle before I put this on. There's, there's, no, there's no point in not doing it. Hear that noise? It's, it's just, it's ridiculous is what it is. Oh my gosh. Oh dear. Yeah. Oh, oh dear. See, when you, when you go to, when you go to collect wood with this, you have to hit it down. Not, see how these bits are different, friends? See the difference in the bits? This one's quite round, you see, opposed to square. So my, my idea is, 
for splitting wood is this tapers in first. It goes in first, so this much of the ax will be in the wood before any of this. Do you understand what I'm saying? So this here, this little moon will start the splitting process and slowly, that's my thinking. And it, it seems to work with physics. So I, uh, I, I like the idea. I like the idea. Now for a wedge though, the interesting thing about this one, friends, is it's very thin, right? Look at that. I say we go for it. Okay. Capiche? You saw that. Daniel, son, look at that. It's hardly even going in. This is going to be interesting. I don't want the wedge to break too soon, right? Let's go for it. Let's make this axe. Cover up our hands or we'll slice our fingers right off and bleed to death. Friends, look at the day. I think. Oh, oh yeah, the cat could have been having a go out there. Friends, look at the day. I think it might be a day to do some cutting. The boy's got a job out local there, and it's a it's a bigger job. He, he's with Matt today, and uh, I think he wants a hand or something. So I I might uh, I might don the power saw and maybe go drag some brush for the boys and help out. Uh, friends, just a quick interjection. That, that wood, that, friends, it is the skinniest little wedge because there's skinny space for, for kerf, right? Um, that EP, I believe it's called. It, it, it's like a rock. The stuff's nuts. I was smashing on that thin little piece and it, it took the whole wedge pretty near. Back to the tool. Oh, this is good. This is real good. Oh, I'm excited. Very excited. Look at that, friends. Look at, that stuff's tough like nails, friends. I'm not joking you, this stuff's crazy. Epe, I think it's called. But look, that's just the sides, friends. It's still intact. Look at this thing. Look at it. I could still, if I wanted, but I mean, it's no big deal, but I could probably even still. Yes, indeed I could. Hang on. Very interesting. And sharp, friends. I mean sharp. You guys have seen me do this a million times. But there's another crazy ax. Interesting. Thanks for watching, friends. You know what I'm saying? I know you do. I know you do. There's no doubt about it. You do. Yeah, it was four in the morning. Let's go. All right, so here's the wood. It's actually, it's pretty good size. See, I wouldn't mind getting into some of this bigger stuff here. That's tall. And then I want to knock down for them. These, that guy there, and that guy there. See it? Right down the driveway here. But for now, friends, I do want to share this with you guys, gals, women, and children. And I want you to understand that what I'm trying to do here is let people know that buy the right ax for the right thing. You can, you can make axes do both things, like this ax will chop because of the weight, like it will, it'll chop because of what I did here, secondary. Remember I made the decision later in the video to, to change it? Well, I did. 
take a look here now, then go back in the video and check this area right here. I took it off. I took the speed bump off. So uh, in saying that friends, let's, let's just go. Let, let's have a little go here at, at this. And, and I wanna show you. See that, friends? It's all just happened there. So, so think about it. If a guy had, if a guy had a bad back, like he does have a bad back. So, think about this. Look, see that? I'm very, very happy that I did that, friends. This is this is not a joke. So here's his, here's his chopping block. You can tell he's been using this. If you're gonna use a chopping block, friends, don't have your, don't put your piece of wood like this. Don't do it because you're still gonna go through it and it's gonna go down here and hit you in the shins. Have it there. You see what I'm saying, friends? I'm so glad I, I sharpened that ax like I did. You see what I'm saying, right? Okay, like this. So that when you split the piece of wood, this is very important stuff, friends. I, I'm not joking you, especially if you're a young guy. See, it goes in there. Now, let's say you had it like this. And I'm gonna put a piece of wood here, right here. So that when I go through, look at it. You see what just happened? It went there. If that piece of wood wasn't there and I had a shorter ax in my hand, down it comes right into my shins. Okay? Put your freaking wood over here like that okay friends Okay, we're out of here. Friends, you do not have to smash up your axes. You don't have to. It's all in that little, just that little, little this, little of that. This is a beautiful, beautiful tool. I'm so glad I spent the time on that. It would have bothered me if I didn't have. If it was for me, I'd make a special grind so that I can grab my wood. Friends, I love you. I do. I appreciate you coming here. All I know how to do is talk about things I know what to do with and how I can help in any way. But one thing I do know is getting your heart rate up. For men in their 40s and 50s, everybody for that matter, but us guys in our 40s and 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s friends listen brothers it's not fun running on a treadmill for me it's not my heart's pounding right now <laughs> do you think that's a bad thing no it's a good thing so i can't get it any other way i can't run i can't you know what i mean that's been taken away so this is the only way what better way to get the heart going the benefits are threefold mental spiritual and physical see you on the next video be kind be honest work hard see you on the next one